What's going on you all today? We're teaching you how to stream PC VR games utilizing Steam VR. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First things first, you have to start the casting process from your headset. All you're gonna have to do right here is you're gonna hit the share button, then you're gonna go to cast. And in this menu, you need to ensure 100% that your computer and your headset on the same exact Wi-Fi network. Tap on the computer and then you're gonna hit next right here. And when you hit next, it's gonna start searching for the casting and then you're just gonna go to the desktop and go to Oculus Casting. So you hit next right here. Now that the casting process is set up, we're gonna have to go into the search engine. You're gonna look for Oculus Casting. I'm doing the Oculus Casting right here. And it's usually the first one on your engine to show up. So you have to click on that. Remember, first you do the headset casting and then you get into this segment. Casting. After you have cast it successfully. So in order to stream this, you just need to set it up essentially. So step one, you're gonna cast. Step two, you're gonna air link. Make sure you have the Oculus desktop app and make sure you have the Steam desktop app. So on the Oculus app, you're gonna click right into it. And you wanna keep it open right here and ensure that you have Steam downloaded because you're gonna to have to download Steam VR within Steam. So as soon as you download Steam, you need to download Steam VR. So those are three things actually, Steam VR. And this is what I have right here. You'll see Steam VR and it's within Steam. You open up the Oculus app because what you're gonna to have to do is that when you put on your headset, it's very, very easy when you put on your headset, um, you're going to have to go into settings and you're going to go ahead and have to air link it up. So in order to air link, you'll go to your settings. And after that, it's going to give you a code so you can finally activate your PC and your headset together. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. As we're in our headset, I'm going to go ahead and go to air link through settings. You click it on, hit continue. Then it's going to ask right here and give you an option. Hit that menu option tab. Then it's going to give you the option for your own PC. Connect to your PC. Now you have to go put in that code that I was initiating earlier. Then step three, you're going to open up Steam and then open up Steam VR within Steam. And that's already through your headset. Now you are officially logged in to PC VR through the Oculus Home. So this is the Oculus Home. Now we got to transition over to Steam. So in order to get to Steam, we're going to have to go through to our desktop and you can see me right here. Basically, whatever you see through your headset now is going to be control. You can see me controlling my mouse through my VR controllers, which is really awesome. Now I'm circling on over, looking over for Steam VR, launch Steam VR, launch it. And it's going to send you to a whole new, brand new, beautiful home. This is the Steam home now. So you get an Oculus home and a Steam home in PC VR. Now, these are my only games that I only have in Steam because I love everything through the native quest. You can look for any other games you want through the store and more to what the quest two already has as a standalone but there is a few uh trademark games that i am going to show you right now which is why we love to play pc vr of course and which is why we are trying to get into this essential especially wirelessly now wirelessly is amazing through the air link so for this example we're going to be doing phasmophobia the one and only logging into phasmophobia i am very scared to play this game by the way and then we're going to log into it. You can see it loading up. It's going to say use headphones for your immersive. So right here, now we're officially in Phasmophobia VR via AirLink. You need to decide on what streaming software you're going to use. For this example, we're using Streamlabs OBS. It's a little bit easier than OBS. OBS is much more personalized, but you can choose whatever you want. That's up on you. Decide your streaming software first and foremost. Next, here you're going to see the main display page. This is the way it will look behind the scenes when you're creating your stream. All you're going to do is on your new scene, which is now your VR stream. Congratulations. You're going to add this plus sign right here. You see the plus sign? Now, everybody's PC acts a little different, but all in all, they're the same. You're either going to go to window capture, game capture, or display capture. For this example, we're doing a display capture. We're going to add the source. You can title it whatever you want. Then when you title it, I keep it at automatic. I always keep a lot of things in automatic settings just because you don't want to mess too much or get too cute with VR settings because VR is already difficult as it is. So right here, you can see all my cursor moving around right here. And essentially, this is exactly what's going to be. But instead of you all seeing my OBS, my Streamlabs source, you're going to see this right here. So right here, you can see where I'm at and where my top photo is. Those are not aligned with the casting essential of a Quest 2. When you cast a Quest 2, it usually just does it on purpose for a one-eyed view, meaning it just crops it. 
And that's the best way to keep it. Now, they do give you an option to make it a horizontal view, but then at that point, you're stretching resolution. It's not going to look as great. And plus, on top of that, you're going to be covering a lot of the game because then you're going to have a webcam. And this is if you don't have a green screen because even if you have a green screen, you're not really, you're only limited to a certain amount of games anyways with green screen. So this is just overall setup. If you want to play a multitude of games that don't allow for a green screen also. So just an overall universal setup. Next, what you want to do is you want to add whatever you want into these segments right here as you can tell you see that i have two different layers right here i have a photo and i have myself playing now for your version you could have chat you can have anything else you want depending on what your flavor is you can have chat you can just there's so many sources in your stream labs or your obs and your streaming software where you can add and you can put whatever you want but all in all you do want to have something of you actually playing or if you have uh, some form of an avatar or something you want to just throw it up on there just so you can people can see some emotion or some action it's a very active thing to do so after that, you're going to go to, uh, you're going to add yourself, in my version, I'm adding an image. So boom, I'm going to add an image right there. You can add whatever image you want. You download it, you go to your source, boom, add image. And just right here now, we have everything. Like what I said, when you cast, it automatically shows this size frame, and that's perfect. You want to leave that size frame just so your stream looks really, really good. You don't want to stretch it. You don't want to force it. You don't want to do anything. Instead, you adapt and you work around the VR essential. After that, you want to add your your webcam your camera so what you will do is boom so this is my other webcam that's around me obviously i'm using my camera for the tutorial right now but you can see in this other camera that i'm already right in and it fits perfectly right in and this would be right here would be all your vr gameplay it'll be you so you can stand up and do whatever you want that's how you basically rock out with that so three things you need to do on your casting leave it the same size Put it centered, and then you work around it. So leave it halfway, then you want to add sources. And with the sources, you can do a lot of stuff. Like you can crop it by hitting Alt. Hit Alt, you can stretch it out a little bit. You can leave it behind. With your other photo, you can do the same thing. So you can stretch it out a little bit. Like, see that? You see, you can stretch it. Boom, boom, boom. And But all in all, you want to leave it the same size. So right here, you always want to leave everything lined up. Make sure it looks real clean. You can put whatever you want. And then after that, you can test your widgets. You can do widgets around. Make sure you see... Boom. You see that right there? Like this is a test donation for $78. So you know that everything works. You can hit everything right here. Now you don't look at it on my main frame. This Just look at it inside the stream. So that's how it pops up right above my head. You can see that. So that already, now we have uh, stream widgets. Now we have the setup. We have the camera. We have an image. And like what I said on this image, it doesn't have to be an image of you. It could be whatever you're playing. It could be a uh, chat stream. I think the best thing would have your chat stream because all you have to do is just hit go live. Exactly how the setup looks. And that's how it'll be able to stream. And it'll be more of in a landscape mode because it looks real clean. Uh, the, the game stays the same. So you don't need to mess up the resolution. People could see your actual body. Like seeing this horizontal webcam that I have right now, it's only more for like if you're just uh, stationary gaming, but with VR, it's so active, especially there's a lot of games that get involved with your legs too. So you want to just be able to have a good essential of your body. And this is a perfect crop format where people can see where it doesn't take over the whole game and it fits right in top. You can use your chat. You can use photos. You can do anything else. And that right there is the full setup on how you do it. This is my YouTube stream and uh, you can set it up for your Twitch stream also. And then you'll just go to your software and then you can set up your settings. You can put uh, where you're streaming, wherever you want to stream. You can put on all of them. You can, you have Facebook, Twitch, and more. And you just leave everything on automatic because when it comes down to VR, you don't want to ruin too much things. A uh, VR is still very new with streaming. Just leave all the settings automatic. Don't try to get too cute with it. Leave it at a 720 output, especially because PC VR is very, very tough after a while. It could, it could run through a lot of your graphics and your CPU, man. So that's how you set it up. You want to cast first, and then you want to open up the desktop app, the Oculus desktop app. Um, as soon as you link them together, then you can finally do your work and get into uh, Steam and Steam VR. But you had to have Steam downloaded already, and then you'd be able to move on, man. So I appreciate y'all so much. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and a like. It really does mean the world, man. I appreciate y'all. Peace.